how long until he has to take the hoodie off? I have a strong mind. So if I decide something, I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm ready. I'm good to go. The first song, ladies and gentlemen, is the best song ever. From now on, I can read the chat. I got one question, so I need to look at the, uh, the chat once again. Should I watch the writing credits before I start listening? Or should I do it after? Two are writing or after and one is before. Well, you know the boys good enough. You could guess who. Okay. Yeah, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Probably not. I'm probably fucked shit up. Here we go. Oh, turn up the volume. Oh, the piano. Yeah. Maybe it's the way she walked. That guitar, though. Let's go, Nile. I will forever remember the boys. I'm glad we're ready! That is A, right? Wow! Wow, yeah, we are live now and I'm already super warm, super sweaty. This is a part of it. It's a part of it. I mean, I, I, I got sweaty from the first album and I'm gonna keep being sweaty while listening to 1D. This must have been the, their first single. Yes, and I get it. Every song so far on, on every album has this powerful hook but some songs has a special moment a special vibe and a special hook as well that makes me like yeah this is gonna be the first single this song is gonna smash it at the charts at the radios and everybody's gonna, it's gonna be in love with it and every non-directioner is gonna hate the song because it's so annoying but yeah i mean it's still this catchy lovely tune, a lovely song. Uh, I've said it once and I say it again, I'm super impressed how they can keep it up with every album and, and every song. I mean, and, and this is no, no exception. This song is really, really good. Um, it, is it a banger? Yes, it's definitely a banger. So take a sip for me. And before I go down to the writing credits and give you my score, I'm gonna guess. Do we have any of the boys? In the songwriters here, um, I would say, I would say, for some reason, I'm gonna say no. But I guess it's something with the lyrics here that I feel like this song is just written to be a banger. I could be very wrong now, so let's see. Best song ever, writers, Wayne, Hector, John, Ryan, Ed, Druitt, and Julia Bonetta. No direction member. It's part of the song right here. So I guess it's something with the song, like the lyrics and sort of the melody as well. That makes me like, yeah, I, I don't think he, he or them has been a part of, of the song. Really good start, a massive start. I am super warm, I'm sweaty already. I'm glad that my camera is not like super 4K and stuff. So you see every details on my face. I'm gonna head to the score. I love this song, um, even though it might be a little bit overplayed. I don't care because 
I haven't heard One Direction before, so it's still sort of a first for me. It's a banger. And my score for best song ever will be... Oh, it's between two numbers here. I'm gonna go with my first number. What I think was my first number. And that is a 8.5. I'm going to rate your chat now. And let's see. If you guys are mad, does he have the lyrics up too? Yes, I have. Louis Bridge is always the best part of their song. <laughs> I mean, he is the king of bridges. You can always tell a bridge that Louis has written. Even if he doesn't sing it. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Julian is a guy. Oh my God. Did I say Julia? Oh yeah, it is Julian. I thought it was a female. I'm sorry. Thanks for <laughs> letting me know. <laughs> no hate on this. On my score. I love it. I love it. Eight for me. A banger. A banger. And I think Sam K said a little banger as well. Let me... Yes. So it's two sips for me. I don't know if you have... Done your banger sips. There's actually a YouTuber who has done all the videos as lyric videos and sorted by member, Lil Peach. I like that it's like Tenacious D tribute, conceptually. A song about a song you don't remember. <laughs> true, true. And shout out to Tenacious D, the greatest band in the world. Should I go with, with the Lil Peach videos, maybe? All right, I'm going to start a vote. Start voting now. It looks like we have a majority decision, but we got a couple of seconds left. But in the meantime, I'm gonna pre-prepare. Play at least for Mina Memories. You are the best, Sam. Thank you. So the next song is Story of My Life. I'm glad it's a ballad now. And I'll be gone, gone tonight. The ground beneath my feet is all Harmony. Everybody now. The story of my life, I take her home I drive all night to keep her warm in time The story of my life Oh, such a great melody Written on these walls are the colors that I can change I just love the simplicity in this song as well, in the verse Just a slow, slow kick drum just guitar and some gone, Oh, gone let's tonight. go Fire beneath my feet is burning bright The story of my life I'll take her home I'll drive all night To keep her warm in time The story of my life I'll give her hope i harmony Until she's broke inside The story Why do I fuck it up? Like chasing the clouds Chasing the clouds, baby The story of my life I take her home I drive all night To keep her warm And time Is frozen Build it up now The story of my life I give her hope I spend her love Until she's broken of my life the story of our lives yeah even though i haven't been a directioner back in the days we all have heard this song and this song has i guess this song has a very special meaning for you but it also has a special meaning for me and i can't remember if i talked about it before but this is a song especially the chorus where me and my boys when we play games um every time we died playing Call of Duty or something, um, when we think like, oh yeah, we're gonna beat them, and we get killed, we all sang the story of my life, and we wrote our own lyrics around the story of my life. So it's a great memory for me as well, um, even though I wasn't a directioner back in the days. But yeah, this song is massive, one of the greatest ballads with One Direction so far. It has a special vibe, this song, and I gotta give credit to the producers, I haven't watched who is producing and, and writing, but I gotta give praise to them because the way everything comes in and how the instruments are recorded as well and the way the harmonies are working at the same time is just so, 
it's so beautiful. It feels so light, but in the same time, it gets so freaking massive in the chorus. So really, really good song. It is a banger according to me. So let's take a little sip here. Now I'm going to guess, are the boys a part of the songwriting here? And for me, this is very, very tricky because in some ways I feel that maybe the whole band or a couple of members have been a part of the songwriting, but some way, somehow I feel a little bit the same with the best song ever that maybe this was written for the band. Like, yeah, I have this, I have this banger, I have this hit and you guys need to sing it. Is Julian a part of the songwriting? I think so. Maybe, maybe we, we, we got some Swedish uh, writers here as well. Even though I'm not super sure that he is a part of the songwriting, but I gotta mention Ed Sheeran here as well. Am I just gonna say a lot of names and hope that <laughs> some are right? No, but the most important question uh, are the lads or some of the lads a part of the songwriting here? Mm, th this is tough for me. I, 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 I don't feel this is Louis. I don't feel this is Louis. Gosh, I could be so wrong now. No. I, I say no. I say no. Julian, W. No, everyone is apart. No. God. I think I got tricked because this song is so massive and a hit. And, and I'm not saying that they can't write hits. I know they can. But in some ways, I, I got maybe a little bit tricked by the first song and be like, Maybe they aren't a part of the song. So I'm just gonna head to the score. I said it was a banger, it's a massive song. And for me, with the memories, and I think this is the first time I'm hearing the full studio version. This song is a 10 for me. It's a 10. Psyching itself, yeah. I, I'm thinking too much, I'm analyzing too much. Liam just staring at us right now. Yeah, he really, <laughs> he really does. Massive song, and the next song is Diana. Hi, the chat. Oh my god. Diana. Front page is all your pictures. They make you look so smart, but I still hear your call. Diana, let me be the one to light a fire inside. Cause I, you can loan it. You don't even know me. But I can feel you crying. Melody wise, it's only this is boy band but musically it is like college pop rock i love the combination I need to hear it once again. This raspy Zane, love it. Love it. I sort of remembered this song, but in some ways I didn't. Maybe just what was because it was the first time and I reacted to a lot of songs from San Siro. This song is great, really, really good. Melody wise, I just love the combination of what I said, like bubblegum boy band melody with college pop rock as well. And who is Diana? Let me be the one to light a fire inside those eyes. I would love to be Diana. But let's not dive too much into who Diana is. But I think it's a good ad that they are like mentioning a name. And I think this is the first time they have a name on a One Direction song. So yeah, overall, the song is really good. It's very catchy. It was hard to sit still, basically. Is it a banger? Yeah, it is a banger. Got me in a great mood. I love the melody. I love the simplicity in the melody as well. And they have this stadium 
vibes in this song and uh, they, they have it in Story of My Life as well and, and the best song ever. Stadium rock vibes and I love it. They have parts in every song so far where the audience know that, okay, now we're gonna scream from the top of our lungs. And maybe when, when Zayn is killing it as well. Diana! Really good. So take a sip for me. The most important question, are the boys a part of the songwriting? It's something uh, with me that says... Yes, but I can't tell if everyone or a couple of members are a part of the songwriting. If I'm right, I'm 100% sure that Louis is one of the songwriters here. This line, the front pages of your picture, they make you look so small. How can someone, how can someone not miss you at all? It was some other lines that made me like, yeah, this felt Louis. Maybe Louis parts here as well. I want to reach out for you. I want to break these walls. I speak a different language. Yeah. I think Louis is definitely one of them. But do we have uh, somebody else? Okay, just for fun, I'm going to say yes. The whole band. The whole band. So let's go to uh, Wikipedia. Diana, Julian, Scott, Ryan, Tomlinson, and Payne. So I consider that... A W. I was very strong on Louis and said, yes, he's definitely one here. But before I look at the chat and start talking with you, I need to give you guys the score. I love the vibe in this song. I love the tempo, even though it's very fast paced and I'm super sweaty. <laughs> um, but I love it. I'm going to give this song. Yeah, I'm going to give it a, another 8.5. Oh, you guys have been writing. This one is a 7.5 for me. Sorry, don't be sorry. I respect your opinion i respect your score love it but there are so much better songs on here all right i love this song banger for me 8.5 okay another sip here i agree anna 7.5 it's a little banger it's still a banger not a little sip there's only two songs with names diana and olivia okay so the next song oh oh it's the album track it's midnight memories let's see if I remember correctly, if this was the song that reminded me of Pour Some Sugar on me. Straight up the plane to a new hotel. Yeah. Oh. Just touch down, you can never tell. Such a stadium, stadium vibe here. Oh, such a great tune. Oh, Niall! Same old but a different day. I love Yeah, you can actually see how sweaty I am now. Yeah, this song is a great jam. This song is made for stadiums and they deserve stadiums. So it was about time they're doing stadium rock and roll music. And I just love this, this new genre, basically. I mean, they always flirted with rock, but this is more 
rock. I said pour some sugar on me. I, I get some 80s rock vibes here. Some 70s as well. And I love the, the tempo change. They're going slow and then they fast pace in the, in the pre-chorus. And then, uh, I mean, the chorus fucking slaps. But one thing surprised me. We didn't have no Zayn on this song, right? Yeah. Correct. Well, that sucks. It doesn't change what I believe or think about this song. This, this song is a banger. This song is a banger. Take a sip. Take a sip. And I'm glad I'm doing light beer because I haven't read the chat, but I'm pretty sure you guys are writing bangers as well. Tell me that I'm wrong, but I, do what I, face. I love how I also feel and hear that they are more matured on this album. They're going, they, I, I guess they are stepping out of this teenage bubblegum it, it's still bubblegum don't get me wrong here but they're going from pop influences such as backstreet boys i mean they, they are still flirting with them but it's another it's another vibe on, on this album that that makes it at least for me more matured i guess this album fits their age at that time and the fans age as well i'm super happy that they are going to into more rockier vibes because Back in the days, I mean, if you were still gonna be the biggest band or the biggest artist or whatever, um, you usually need to go into more pop music and do more, I guess, electronic music. And it's nothing wrong with electronic music. Um, I'm just impressed that they, I guess, decided that, no, we're gonna do more, more rock vibes. And uh, I'm up for it. And it, it suits them. I mean, can we talk about Niles? Niles raspy voice, I love it. Um, he needs to, to do more rock music on, on his upcoming albums. It fits him, it really does. The tough and tricky question, are the boys a part of the songwriting here? Now I'm starting to analyze. I'm gonna say yes. There are some parts on this song that makes me believe like the way I failed on story of my life i think all the boys are a part of this song oh it's it's the complete same as diana bonetta scott ryan tomlinson and liam payne i consider this correct let's head to the score this song is a banger i love this song i love they are flirting with the with the old school rock and roll bands from back in the days this song is really really good it is a banger and my score for midnight memories will be a 9. It's a 9. No, it's a 9.5. I changed my mind. It's a 9.5. So, 9.5 and let's go with the chat. Let's go. We love KFC. <laughs> it's fire. Banger. Louis. Take a sip, everybody. Big banger. Massive banger. Oh, oh shit. We got three bangers in a row here. So, three sips here. This song is the definition of banger. 9. Okay, <laughs> another sip. 9 to 9.5 for me just because I reserve my... My tens for the elite. Ooh. The bug part. <laughs> I've sent him the picture of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The alternative album cover on Insta. Okay. <laughs> I indeed think there's something wrong with electronic music. Three out of four will give it you. Thank you. Curious if he will get the next two songs correct. Okay. I need to pay attention to the next two songs. But before we do that... <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh wow holy shit that is Niall in, on, on front oh what the fuck is this what was this album cover for I love it this represents Midnight Memories so well the song and it's Louis to the left right and then Liam and then Harry and then Zayn right they did some weird shit man don't ask <laughs> well I like it I love it I'm gonna be a good a good boy <laughs> and just press here because the next song is you and I, I figured it out I Are you figured okay? it out from black and white seconds and hours maybe they had to take some time did they ever hold each other tight like us did they ever fight like us From we can Zero. make it till the end. Nothing can come between you and I. Great. Are 
great vocals. Oh, you and I. I feel a little bit the same like the story of my life. The simplicity. I it out. Oh, the harmony. Saw the mistakes of up and down. I see what it's like. I see what it's like for day and night. Never together. Wow. Coldplay fix you by here. Love it. Cause you and I, we don't want to be like them. We can make it to the end. I still have chills from that. I know. Let's go, Zay. Beautiful. Oh, a little fade out. Love it. Yeah, the, this song is massive. The, this song is powerful. And as I said during Story of My Life, I feel the same here. The simplicity, more massive vibes in the chorus as well. And then after the second chorus, this Coldplay, when the Coldplay fix you vibes, when all the instruments are coming in so beautifully and I guess brilliant as well. Brilliant recorded and brilliant written song as well. Great vocals from all the boys. But I gotta give... A special shout out to Zayn for hitting those high notes. Um, he's the master. He's the master of high notes. It is a banger for me. It is a banger. And the tough cookie. The songwriters here. I gave praise to the songwriters. I really hope that the boys are a part of the songwriting. Because in some way, I definitely feel that the boys are part of the songwriting here. It's something here that... <sighs> says no for some reason and i don't have uh an explanation so it okay it's yes or no i think niall i okay I, i'm gonna say this i think niall why do i sit just like niall here are at least one of the writers here i'm comparing this song to niall's ballads and this song could according to me could definitely have been a niall ballad on his records so I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna stick with Niall Horan is one of the writers here. So let's see. You and I. No. <laughs> None of the boys. <laughs> None of the boys. That was that was tricky. That was really tricky because I I I felt that at least Naya was a part of the songwriting here. Melody wise, especially melody wise. I'm just gonna do the score. It's gonna be another yeah. It's gonna be a nine. I am going to get myself a refill because I, I smell some bangers in the chat. Curious if he will get the next two songs correct. Well, first song, no. Big banger for me, I call it. Should always go with your gut. Nile worked a lot with John Wright, if I remember right on Flickr album. So maybe that's why I picked up on Nile. Could be. I felt in the melodies and the way, because Nile starts this song, I felt like maybe this is a, a Niall, Niall song. He, he's a part of the songwriting, if you know what I mean. So let's go with the next song, and that is Don't Forget Where You Belong. Been a lot of places, I've been all around the world, seen a lot of faces, Good never melody. knowing where I was, Liam living out of cases. Packing up and taking off, made a lot of changes. Great focus by Nile as well. The moon will be rising back home. Don't forget where you belong. Oh, don't forget where you belong. Oh, if you ever feel alone, don't you are never on your own. And the bruises in drums. this song. I love the, the drums pages. in the song. I've written in my memory. I feel like I'm dreaming. Don't forget where you belong. Oh, in this song. Lights up when they should be on. Iconic. 
to listen to this bridge again. I love that bridge. I love that bridge so much with all my heart. And this could be definitely one of the best bridges so far that I've heard with One Direction. But I also feel with all the boys solo stuff as well. <laughs> Cheers. Overall, this song is good, but it is for me the bridge that boosts this song. I mean, you can see here on the popularity here. This is where everybody's scrolling. This is where everybody's scrolling. People are agree with me. To the songwriting here. So this is one of the songs that Anna said. It will be interesting to see if I nail it. And I am at the moment three out of five. So just because you said that it would be interesting. Because I feel. Or are you guys playing tricks with me now? Because I feel like, yeah, the boys are a part of it. But just because of the mind tricks, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say no, just because I want to be right. Remember, I said this now. Inside, I feel that they are a part of the songwriting here. And if yes, I'm going to say Louis. I'm going to say Liam. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Zayn. But my answer is no. So if, I'm wrong now. Remember the, the three lads I mentioned. So let's go and check. I say no. Fucking Nile Horn. Ah, oh, and I didn't even say his name. Well, yeah, I understand this was tri tricky. I was wrong. I was wrong. It, it's three out of six now. Damn it. But uh, let's head to the score. My score for Don't Forget Where You Belong will be, it will be an 8.5. Yeah, I love the melody in the verse. I love the bridge and the chorus is good. It's not the greatest chorus, according to me. I love the stadium vibes here. They are still writing melodies and uh, writing choruses as well um, that, that still are songs that will be stuck on my mind. Let's go with you now. One of the best bridges. I agree. Yeah, it feels like heaven. Strongly agree. But in my opinion, it was even better after Zayn left. Don't get me wrong. Love Zayn. But Louis was smashing it. And to be honest, I agree. And it's definitely nothing wrong with, with Zayn's performance in this song on the bridge. But I still prefer just Louis on the bridge. And for some reason, that was maybe the reason I felt like, yeah, Louis is definitely one of the songwriters here because the bridge because of the bridge basically another banger 8.5 but 9 live banger take a zip i'd say 8.5 it would be a 9 without the line if you ever feel if you ever feel alone don't <laughs> zooey's bridge what a blessing yes banger and the bridge is one of the best i i'm so happy that you all so far Agree with me. 9.5. Banger. Take a zip. Don't think he will do the writing correct. Well, you are. I bet he's saying Louis. <laughs> you call it, Anna. Unless he remembers Niall's intro on San Siro. He doesn't stand a chance. Hmm. I don't remember that intro, to be honest. Banger. Banger. Anna said banger. Take a zip. Oh, yeah. He's going to say Louis because of the bridge. 
Yeah. Oh, he's overcooking. <laughs> Cheating. Where did I cheat? Sorry, Kimpo, but don't be sad. This was probably the trick as well. I'm glad you, you say that. I'm glad you say that. Iconic lyric in this. If you ever feel alone, don't. I didn't recognize that. Or I, I, I didn't pay attention to it. I guess it's a rhyme, a rhyme thing here. Home, home, don't. Own. I, I don't know a better word than don't, but I, but I get it. I get what you mean. If you ever feel alone, don't. Sounds like something a doctor would have said to me. I feel sad. Well, don't. Don't be sad. Well, well, well. Uh, we gotta move on with the next song called Strong. Oh, picky guitar. My hands, your hands, tied up like two ships drifting, weightless waves trying to break it. I'd do anything to save it. Why is it so hard to say? I know one songwriter here. So I'm gonna say yes already. I know one. I know one. Wait till it's gone. You make me strong. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't care, I'm not scared of love Cause when I'm not with you, I'm weaker Is that so wrong? Is yeah, this so was from San Siro Did you make me strong? Think of how much love that's been wasted People always trying to escape it You make me strong I'm sorry But I don't care, I'm not scared of love Niall Is it so I love you, Niall I'm sorry if I say I need ya But I don't care, I'm not scared of love Cause when I'm not with you, I'm weaker Is that so wrong? Is it so wrong? That you make me strong No. I was waiting for diddle 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 diddle. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not gonna read the chat because this song, this song reminded me. So yes, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say yes already. I'm very sure that a specific person, per person, person is a part of the song. Yeah, 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 here we have it. So let's hear, yeah, we can go here. We can go here and just listen to the beginning. My hands, your hands, tied up like two ships drifting, weightless waves trying to break it. My heart. Yeah, yeah, I'm 100% sure. Because I'm not saying that this is a copy, but I got these vibes. I come running to you like a moth into a flame. The vibes here. Easy, Listen to the guitar. To say. Wish I didn't need so much of you. I hate to say, but I do. So, I am gonna call it. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say one of the writers is definitely the King of Bridges, Mr. Louis Tomlinson. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Louis. I'm 100% sure, and if I'm wrong, I'm gonna end the stream. No, I'm not. If I'm wrong, I will be so mad and so surprised. But, back to the song. I like the song. I really do. And I love the simplicity, once again, in the verses here. And then we have uh, another smashing chorus. I feel it. I feel it in the lyrics, and the lyric fit the melody so well. Everything comes in so well in this song. This, this is so far one of the best choruses and i think the combination of the verse to the chorus as well works really well and that's what what boosts this chorus for me we're gonna take another sip because according to me at least for me the song is a banger and before i go to the writing credits and head to the score do i feel i am 100 percent that louis is one of the writers here but do we have someone else maybe in the chorus i'm just gonna listen to the chorus here again 
you make me strong. Um, I'm gonna say this. One of the the writers are definitely Louis. And do we, and if we have another member or all the boys, I don't care. I consider this a W and a correct for me. If especially Louis is one of them. I'm, I'm really scared now. Let's go down to strong. We have Bunera, Scott, Ryan, and Louis. We got Louis. I heard it. I heard it immediately. Let's head to the score. And my score for strong. Yeah, the chorus slaps. Yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna be a nine. It is a nine for me. Let's go to the chat now. First lines, it's clear who wrote it. Yes. Eight for me. Love the back in synth. True, true that pyre. I've always been obsessed with this song. Banger for me. A nine. And take a sip. Eight for me, banger. Take a sip for Sam. Do we think he really knows who wrote it? Imagine if I lo looked at the chat. I would have been analyzing it once again and probably tackled myself and be like, Yeah, it's not Louis. So I'm glad I'm, I'm not looking at the chat. I'm thinking he think it's Niall. <laughs> well done. Okay, he got it. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> Redemption, indeed. Yes. You've done so good on this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud. Uh, as well that I immediately heard like yeah this is Louis I fucking love cats I fucking love cats too Sam the next song is happily you don't understand you don't understand oh fast pace what you do to me when you hold his hand hey Some fault right there. Love it. Oh, make it stop. Oh, the catchiness in this song. I've missed it. I'm not saying that the other songs are not catchy, but this one's so catchy and I fucking love it. I love, I love this song. This chorus slapped so hard that I'm gonna be dead after this stream. How many songs do we have left? Um, first off, it's a banger. It's another banger for me. Take a sip. Secondly, I, I just love this, uh, this part, this folky. One, two, Such like stadium vibes. I mean, I, I I don't remember. I don't think this was on San Siro. I bet this was a such a beautiful moment. Everybody just clapping and be oh oh oh, loved it. Um, short song in a perfect way. I don't wish that it was longer. It, it was a perfect song. Yeah, I just loved this song throughout. Basically, the, this song was really really good. And and the pre-chorus. We on fire Perfect build up to the chorus. Let's go to the tough cookie. The writers. And I believe 
because if I remember Anna correct, it was strong and happily that would be tricky. No, it, it was the, the the previous song when when uh, when uh, Horan was. Yeah, for me, th this is tricky as well. I didn't feel like yeah, this is definitely him. So maybe, maybe not. But it was one line here. Here, it's 4 a.m. And I know that you're with him. I wonder if he knows that I touch your skin. For some reason, I'm, I don't know if I'm right. Of course, I don't know. But it's 4 a.m. And I don't know that you're, and I know that you're with him. I wonder if he knows that I touch your skin. If one of the boys are in the, in the writing credits here. And especially if one of the boys wrote this line. It is not Liam, because he, he, because, just because he sang it. I think it, it is Harry Styles. I think, because this line reminds me of Falling. And maybe because I did a cover of it, so I, I practiced that song a lot. I mean, it's 4 a.m. and I know that you're with him. I mean my bed and you're not here. I mean... I hear the similarities here. Maybe I'm, I'm fucked up now because of that song. But my first guess was like, n no? Okay, it, it could be Niall as well. Now that I started thinking about Niall once again, I, I should think about Niall more when it comes to songwriting. I think. Because it, it has some Irish vibes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that this is an Irish song, but I think this part, this OO, could definitely be a... Uh, <laughs> an idea from Niall. Okay, okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. And if yes, I'm gonna say Harry Styles and Niall Horan. That's it. So, let's go to the writing credits and see if you are laughing at me or not. Happily, we got... Savan Kutech. Hey, Carl Falk! Sweden! And Styles! Hey, Harry Styles! Let's go! But no Niall! I guess we, we consider that uh, uh, correct, because I said yes, and Harry Styles was one of them. Let's head to the score. It is a banger. Did, did I say it was a banger? I think so. But anyway, take a sip, just in case. It will be another... another... Oh, yeah, it's a 9.5. It's a 9.5 for me. Let's go to the chat and scroll up. I fucking love Kimpo's cat. Mine. <laughs> the chorus on the one is probably my favorite. Well, it's definitely up there. Um, the the chorus fucking slaps. Another banger. Instant nine. Take a sip. Take a sip. I will be shocked if he gets this. Well, Sam, you got shocked. Banger. Edibles said banger. And a nine. Ten. Banger. Pyshire. Banger. Sam said banger. Oh, Anna said banger. Two sips. He will not get the writing. Well, touche, Anna. Or what do we think? If he will get it exactly correct, I'm... Okay, I didn't... It, it wasn't exactly correct because I, I still mentioned Niall. I just can't see you knowing this is Harry. Well, it was it, it was that line and I, I don't know if he wrote that. It can be tricky, but I don't think he will get it. It, it hurts me to see it. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd be really surprised if he got it. Oh my God. You didn't believe in me. It wasn't San Siro, was it? Let's move on with the uh, next song. Oh, this is, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is right now. Love that picking guitar. Lights go mm. down and Louis. the night is calling to me. Singing songs in the street And I know That we won't be going home For mm. so long, for so long But I know That the I build won't up. be on my own Yeah, I love this feeling that Right now I wish you were here with me Oh, 
immediately take a sip everybody take a sip where do i begin i i am so in love with this song i just love everything i just want to hear the song once again but of course the the chorus with zane and the melodies and his magical beautiful voice and his falsetto truly amazing i just feel like they need to come back one day one day they they need to do it because i need to experience 1d for for real a real concert a real you know album um i want to feel that what what you guys felt back in the days um so yeah th this song is definitely one of the greats on this album and definitely one of the greats probably in their total discography both lyrically but melody wise as well everything works so well the combination of the lyrics and the melody and the music the, the instruments are working so perfectly so yeah i guess i need to step into that water regarding who the hell wrote this song i have no idea but let me just say this i hope every time that the whole band or some of the lads are part of the songwriting and this is definitely one of them where, where i feel like yeah i really need to see at least a couple of names i just want to give them the credit like yeah you wrote this i'm going to say yes but i don't have like a super explanation it feels wrong to say i don't feel like oh this is this is Harry or this is Louis or, or is, is this Niall. I'm saying this because I really want at least a couple of them to be a part of the song. I, I wish the whole band, but lyrically it could, it could be anyone. For me, it, it could be anyone. Yeah, I, I'm just going to say yes, but I don't have specific names. So my yes is basically my, my hope. I hope they are a part of the songwriting. So let's go to the credits. And right now... We have Ryan Tedder, Tomlinson, W. Payne, W. Harry Styles, W. I consider that a W. I consider that a correctum. Head to the score. And I said it was a banger. And, and this is one of the greats. So, for me, this song is a 10. Now I'm heading to the chat. Right now gets an 8. The live version is a, the, the live version is a 10. I mean both for me are are tense the live version on on the San Siro was incredible with everything the performance and the uh, the fan uh, the fan project basically where it all started okay i'm italian i ethically have to give it a 10 <laughs> iconic writing team yes join the club i was so also to see them live as a unit yeah um i would do that as well right Oh, is he the singer of One Republic? Wow. Six out of nine. I'm happy with that. I'm super happy. I am on a good streak. Is it three? Three in a row now? Anyway, as Vale says, we are halfway through the album. Yeah. 